Okay, hello people. In this new tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to bake an altar. Okay, so they requested me to do a benchmark of CSGO, and as you might know, CSGO is not like a really demanding game, but I'm going to do it anyways for I'm going to do it anyways for the love of investigation and to see how the game reacts and how many FPS we get. But it's what uh, but like what matters me the most is like how many in this case uh, temperature we're getting in the CPU. So let's see let's see what happens. Also you're gonna have to forgive me if I suck. I'm not like I don't game like that much but still Well I mean I game sometimes but I'm not like those one of those addictive addictive gamers. So sorry if I suck in advance, but I'm gonna try to do my best. Okay, so so far we have that the temperature of the CPU is no more than 68 degrees Celsius. Now we're getting into 70 degrees Celsius, 71. I must say that I underbolt my CPU, so this is supposed to actually like make it get less hotter, uh, but I don't know what's gonna happen, so still. So far, so good, 73 degrees Celsius. Like they have tell me, I haven't like, research this like completely yet but they have told me that the cpu cannot uh, like be operating for long periods of time under uh, over 80 degrees celsius because that may fry the cpu however i was reading in the intel side and they say that the operating temperature of the cpu in particular it's a hundred celsius a hundred degrees celsius which makes me think okay if i'm getting like a maximum of 87 degrees celsius then i'm okay but they have told me some friends that also like know a lot about computer and technology that 80 degrees celsius is bad for the cpu so i really don't know how good to believe but uh 80 celsius doesn't seem like any good for a cpu so far we have we are getting 77 degrees celsius at maximum 78 degrees celsius now we are in 142 fps the fps are beautiful like i don't even have to worry about the fps in this game because first of all it's a not that demanding game and we're getting like a lot of fps we're getting the 180 fps right now like for whoever wants to play like counter strike and those kind of games Steam. Of Valve, uh, the games are gonna run beautiful. Everything under the Source engine is gonna run terrific. I mean, so far so good. We're getting like around, we're getting into the 66 and then into the 73 degrees Celsius for the CPU. Nothing that worries me that much at this moment. Everything is, everything is completely fine. Oh, all my settings in this game right now are in high. Oh, I'm getting killed. Shit. Okay. If you let me see my settings for a second, we go into the top and options, video settings. As you might see, everything is in high, 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 very high, and, and we have motion blur enabled, everything is in maximum. Uh, we have the laptop power saving and disabled, the maximum resolution my computer supports, everything is... I'm pretty much dead, so you should probably just leave. They got killed. Well, as we continue playing, the temperatures now are stable at 75 Celsius. Oh, by the way, I have my in the predator sense. My fans are set to automatic. Like, I don't have like this highest settings of the fans right now, and everything's going good so far. Like. Everything's going perfectly. Oh god damn it, I don't have I don't have money to go to watch him right now. Uh, 
some people say uh, tell me a lot like would you recommend this laptop and my question is if you are in a budget on the right hand um, 11 1100 dollars for a gaming laptop this laptop is perfect for you like I'm sure that you're gonna, not gonna get anything better than this uh, 1100 dollars like this laptop is perfect uh, I haven't had any single issue with performance at all all the games are, that I play are running smoothly even the things such as for example streaming uh, digital drawing everything everything is running smoothly and perfectly I love this laptop but the only thing that concerns me is this thing about the heating of the CPU because if we're getting those 80 cells it seems kind of uh, bothering me a little bit I mean, what is interesting to try that last of the uh, distribution is up to a hundred dollars yeah. then beautiful, like, we don't have any issue there. We can get up to the 90s and still be like, and temper. But if what they say is not true and actually we're getting like in the 80s and that's dangerous for the CPU, then I would be like, a little bit worried. But so far, I haven't had any problem. No software has reported like a CPU throttling or anything like that. And yes, everything can, has been a smooth experience this laptop. So if people tell me that if you recommend this laptop, I completely recommend this laptop. For anything, for programming, for video editing, for gaming, for anything I recommend it. So far we're getting, right now we are in 75 FPS, I don't know what's happening, uh, we are in 75 Celsius, 76 Celsius, everything is like okay. And I got killed. 150 FPS. I'm sure that this laptop can handle most of the games perfectly since it's a GTX 1060. So at least on that side, like people have asked me, oh, but can it handle like more demanding games or anything? And I'm sure it can. Of course it's not at 1080 and we're not gonna see some gaming in 4K but for all the other games like from high settings to medium settings it works beautiful. And if in games like Overwatch, CSGO, Minecraft, with shaders, ultra settings are nothing for this level. Also I was playing this honor the other day with this level too and the ultra settings and the was running smoothly. So far, the highest temperature is 77 Celsius, 78 Celsius, 79 Celsius. We're like slowly getting there into the 80s, but so far the temperature is okay. Oh, by the way, I'm having a little bit of lag, so don't think that, uh, that it's that it lagging because of the CPU or, it, or the GPU is because of the lag. I must remind you all that I live in Ecuador and play in American servers, so it gets a little laggy sometimes. Oh, and right now, by the way, I'm in a room with an AC, so the room is pretty cold right now. So you can you can't also say oh you live in Ecuador so the temperature is really high there so everything's gonna be higher in temperatures no I'm in a room with an AC right now and the room is pretty cold. Well, 29 seconds. Let's try to be. Oh my God, it fell down.
so far. We haven't reached the 80 skeletons with CPU. Also, I must remind you that I undervolt my CPU a little bit. I don't know what kind of <laughs> hoping was that it they throw a small grenade and it went upside. I don't know what what it was very was but uh, all my teammates by the door are getting kills for people. Someone's coming in events. Oh yeah. If someone's coming in events then go kill him yourself. Well, only two to go. Thank you, terrorists, for coming outside so I could kill you. Okay, let's go and try to see if we can be heroes. Shit, there we go, only one to go. I feel that this guy killed him, kill me the other round. Let's see what happens this time. Ah, 25 seconds, 24 seconds. Well, he must be like inside the terrorist room. Let's see what we can do. Well, oh shit, some guy killed him. Oh, there we go. Counter terrorist there we go. There we go. Well, so far I haven't seen the FBS and the one cells and some TSS. Benchmark for the requested it. I love this game. Everything is running super smoothly. And yeah, then for like for like the extent 60 or something like this is not just like taking a pee. <laughs> Covering with smoke. Okay, I'm just gonna play this last round and then we can end this. I remember that in time to take on Sprite 1.6 and that was like the most amazing game ever. Now it is CSGO. <laughs> I don't know, but between CSGO and Wait. Strike Source, like, I don't see much difference. Like, from Source to this, the graphics just got a little bit better. But other than that, I don't really know, like, Stay there, stay there. What? Where is it? Oh, there he is. Counter terrorist win. He's coming out. Yes. Let's move out. I promise this is the last one. So far, 76 Celsius. Oh, hey, we are in 84 FPS, 100 FPS, 72 Celsius. Well, the GPU temperature is 72 Celsius, but I'm sure that no one cares about the GPU temperature these days. It's always about the Throwing CPU temperature.
Dude, look back, dude. dude. Oh my god. I cannot believe this shit. I Dude! Shit. Okay, I... Officially made this out. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, he can clutch this. He can clutch this. Yo, he's gonna clutch this. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. You were so close. What's he doing? Come on, no, go do it. Yep, he messed up. He played himself. You got 15 seconds now, what are you doing? He can't do it. Oh, he's right there. He saw him. Say hostage! Oh, he played himself. Of course. Okay guys, so uh, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope that this, I don't know, for the personal request that this is enough of the benchmarking. This game runs amazing, 160 FPS right now. Typical CPU is not going above 70 minutes right now. Everything's good. Well, I hope that you like this video. Any question, just uh, write it in the comments. And if you want a benchmark of any game that I have, I'll be like really glad to help you. See you guys.